Good morning, it's 5am in the morning. Yes, very early start. Um, I'm off down to the Eurotunnel port in a few minutes with Connie Ashford and Kent. Um, but from there over to France, obviously, through Belgium, a little bit of Holland, I believe, maybe not, um, and then into Germany and on the way to Berlin, all in one day. Yeah, that's quite an adventure. So you can see from this map the route we're taking, all the stops we've got. We'll see how that works out. So off to IFA, which is a big uh, technology event in Berlin. Um, starts this tomorrow. Um, so it's going to be, it's got to be there tonight. I uh, got the first press conference in the morning. Um, all this is fascinating tech magazine, of course, which I, I vote for. So uh, yeah, hopefully see you at the next charging stop. So I've made it to the first stop um, about 10 minutes later than it said on the plan. Um, got 139 kilometres left, which is about 45%, so it's actually better than we um, said it would be at this point. I'm going to plug in now and uh, see how we get on. So I'm not sure you can see that, but in 26 minutes we've got up to 74%, which is enough to get on for the next bit of the charge. Uh, these the charges are reasonably well located just off the E40, um, straightener services, it's shell services, very easy to find, um, except for if you try to navigate to them on the maps in the Jaguar where they aren't located and you'd think they'd have the RMT charges on there but they don't. Anyway, um, we're fine, we're going to get on now and get on the next part of the journey. We're a little bit behind schedule but let's see if we can catch it up on the next bit. It's got a bit sunny ever since the last stop, but we're now at Hasseldunk Oost, which is the uh, fastnet charger. Uh, we were supposed to be here with 30%, we are actually here with 37%, but we're about an hour later than expected due to uh, an accident in the tunnel at um, Antwerp, so which uh, caused somewhat of a delay. I found my way around the ring road and got here in time, but uh, yeah, so a little bit behind schedule, but hopefully we can catch a bit of time here because we won't have to charge quite so much. What a lovely sound that is, it's starting to preparing to charge the car, so hopefully, oops, we've got an error. So the plug was slightly loose, I've pushed it in tightly, let's see if it works this time. Oh, that's better, we've swapped to charging on four, so if you come here, it's uh, charging on three, so it's more problematic with eye face. Sorry about the wind noise, it's very, very loud, very, very windy here. Um, but yes, so charging number four has a long go, this one seems to be better than charging number three. And we're charging away quite quickly. So I really like how visible this um, charger is. Obviously the, the solar panels make it very obvious, but there's also really good signage around here to tell you where it is. So excellent all round. And we're just about 80% now, so uh, it's not going as fast as I'd like it to, um, but it's going reasonably quickly. So I think we're going to actually get an update in here a bit longer than I intended to be. Uh, so you go to the right side of the, the charger. And there we go. We're at 80% in 33 minutes. Okay, we're going to call it enough there. Let's see if I can stop this. to get here at uh, 12.52 it is currently 14.04 so we've gained a little bit of time back from the last time um, we have got to charge from here to, here to 75% and then on our way again okay so this one worked first time um, I was a bit of a faff setting up Ionity the, the app takes a few it's always logged out every time you go back to it you have to log back in if you want to pay with PayPal you have to log into that takes a little while to get started and in the rain that's not pleasant I think I honestly really need either to take contactless payment or have an RFID card okay so we've gone slightly over on charge time 32 minutes 79 percent let's get on our way I've got to a fastnet charger and you may have not expected me to be at a fastnet charger. The 
plan said that I should be at an ionity charger. Um, and indeed I should have been. Uh, there was an ionity charger at Salzburg. And could I find it? No, I couldn't. I got directed all over the place by my stupid sat nav, which I will say that. Here, here navigation should have all the major charging networks as part of its points of interest. There's no excuse for that. It should have Ionity, it should have Fastnet. These are major fast chargers they should be on as points of interest and they're not. And it's very frustrating. Especially when you take the address from a better route planner and it's obviously too wide an address to actually locate the charger. So that was really unfortunate. Fortunately I've managed to get um, with a bit of fairly fast driving using the fact that the German autobahns are basically unrestricted um, and I've got over to the Mellow West Fastnet um, now I was supposed to be here at 1513 it's actually 1700 and I'm, I was supposed to charge from 30% up to 82% well I'll be charging from about 10% up to 30% but we'll see how we go okay so this is going to be interesting um, we should be able to just plug this in hopefully just switch it to English. I should, I should be able to just plug this one in now because we've set it up um, with him away. So that I registered in the Fastnet application and by registering it, the first charger I had to go into the application but subsequent charges, it's supposed to just work when I plug it in. So if I plug it in now and then let's have a look back at the charging and see what happens. Uh, so start your session through the Fast net charge or just press the start. Ah, verify. Excellent. So it's actually working. You're allowed to charge. So that is actually just plug the car in and it's setting up the charger. This is how all chargers should work. Yeah, let's see if it actually starts charging. Going the charge, setting up communication, clicking and whirring, and we're charging. Wow, that's, that's brilliant. That's exactly how all chargers should work. That's made up for my messing around trying to find an energy charger for about half an hour. Uh, yeah, so uh, we were actually 15% when we got here. Um, so let's see how quickly we can get up to 80% and then get on my way. So an hour, roughly an hour later, up to 93%, uh, decided to have some food here and a complete change of plan. Um, I've decided that I'm just not going to make it to Berlin before registration closes tonight. Um, just the, the sheer weight of traffic in the roads and it's been lots and lots of roadworks. I mean, far more than last time I travelled this road. So it's not really the electric car's fault, but it's just uh, it's just impossible to get there so but i'm going to stop not too far outside i'll be certainly well in range to get to where i need to go tomorrow morning and then we'll all go and work from there so i'll speak to you a bit later this was incredibly easy to use this is the enbw mobility uh, charger um i just put my new motion card onto it and uh, away it started and it, it literally just started instantly it was a uh, no hanging around and as you can see it's got loads of lovely information on it um, it says it shares the power between two CCS chargers with the only person I'm the only person here at the moment so yeah so uh, really impressive we're getting uh, 81 kilowatts let's just focus on that excellent stuff well I haven't played with one of these before this is another Ionity type of Ionity um, I'm not sure what to make it is just busy trying to uh, connect, there we go. So many cool hours we get. We're actually at Hohens, well I'm at Hohens Wun Leben. Um, it's taken we're about an hour later than I thought it would be here. So yeah, it's uh, caught up a bit. Some very fast driving down the autobahns. Hey, that's fast. Wow, 100 kilowatt charging. Only for a few seconds. That's <laughs> very good. It does, it does exist. In case anyone is wondering what type of charger this actually is, it's a tritium refill. Ah, the noisy it is too. Yes, so I'm in the Hohenswurz Leben. 
uh, rest off at the moment. It's uh, quarter past nine at night. Um, so this is quite near Magdeburg. Uh, I've caught up a lot of the time um, I lost in uh, Holland and France this morning. Particularly in Holland and, and Belgium, actually. Um, lots of 100 kilometre stretches on what looked like perfectly good three-lane road and couldn't quite well figure out why they had gone that slowly. Um, but it certainly did have an impact on the early part of the journey. Um, I so I caught up quite a bit now. we we'll get into Berlin at 11 o'clock tonight if I carried on. Um, but that's again a bit late to get there really. Um, but it perfect proves it's perfectly feasible. Could you actually do the UK to Berlin in a day in an electric car? Um, and the pumps haven't been of the electric cars making, it's been purely road conditions, um, which has delayed me. But all in all, pretty good. Interesting, next to these Ionity chargers here, they're actually installing a couple of high speed Legos by the looks of things. Uh, the guys are working on them at the moment. They look like they're going to be the fast ones, the 150 kilowatt ones, or maybe even 350 kilowatts. Anyway, all good stuff. It really helps if you take the right turning. Uh, yeah, found this in the end. Um, it's a little bit hidden. Uh, this is the Vanderbilt Hotel, um, and this is a fast NED, which is excellent. So, 175 kilowatt charger. Should be pretty easy to get set up on, and this is going to charge us overnight. Well, not actually charge us overnight, but get us ready for charging overnight. Oh, I took that out before I got my hands. It's always more difficult to do this one handed. <laughs> there you go. These fast NED cables are really 
tough to turn around. As you see, I'm struggling with this one. It's very highly sprung. That's it, that's in. Let's see what we can do here. Now, this should automatically detect the car because it's we've already registered with Fastnet. It did take a while last time. Here we go. And brilliantly, it's detecting. Hopefully it's going to start charging. And we can actually change the language here as well. Not English. So nice lots of clicking, and there we go, 44% and charging. Excellent. It is how all charging should be. Just plug in and go. Uh, very much like the old Tesla turbochargers. It starts charging you. Um, I think it's really good. So yeah, I'm hoping to see more of that. Fastnet have got that absolutely right. Nightmare to find this place tonight. It's um, well, I'm at Unruh, Apology and Express. Um, yeah, lack of signposting and lots of closed roads and trams and all sorts of things. It's been all sorts of uh, difficulty to get here, but the car's been relieved admirably throughout. It's been great to drive. Really enjoyed it. It's very late, as you can probably tell. I'm quite tired. Ready for the next stage tomorrow, which is just going to be a drive up down to um, the Euro Tunnel and then back to the UK. A couple of stops planned tomorrow. I think one at the new. Um, the e Mega or something like that, um, charging for Lego. Um, that should be interesting to see that. I think it's another high speed one. We haven't tried one of those yet on this trip. And then it's the Island of we stopped on the way up, uh, well, actually, the other side of the road. But yeah, so that should be good. Um, and then I think I'm going to charge at um, one of the supermarkets for a little while before I actually take the crossing. Hopefully, we have time for that. Depends really on the roadworks going in and out of. Holland because that, that was certainly on the way out that was one of the biggest delays was the amount of time I spent in roadworks and very slow 100 kilo, 100 kilowatts 100 kmh roads um, yeah so very tired but the car's been brilliant I really enjoyed driving it. it it makes life really relaxing it's amazing um, earlier I was playing on one of the local radio stations in Germany which sort of like has car music and I'm playing this car music at 170 kilometers an hour and yeah it was pretty calm it was very relaxing chilled out um, obviously I had to keep concentration on the road but the adaptive cruise control really helps the um, the steering assist really helps that goes all the way up down to 90 kilometers an hour as I said earlier um, actually no it doesn't quite this, the adaptive cruise control goes 190 up but I did have um, steering assist all the way up to about 182-183 um, so yeah so it works really well uh, and that does does seem to work better than the Tesla Autopilot did last year when it comes to the roadworks in Germany um, I think that has actually improved on Tesla since we tried it last year um, but the, certainly the way they mark yellow lines over the white lines really confuses these things but not so much the, the Jaguar it actually copes very well with that so I was pleased with that economy Perhaps doesn't be the best, but then I have been driving it really hard, um, and it's not been a problem. I mean, it's basically been the charging schedule I set out um, some 20, 30, 40 minute charging, mostly 40 minute charging, that's what I've been aiming for, um, from around about 30% to 80%. Worked pretty well. Um, last last charge of this evening went up to 80%. Had an um, Audi e tron put in beside me, and they were virtually empty, but they they were about to charge really quickly on the 150 kilowatt charger, but actually 350 kilowatt charger, I think. Um, I don't think the fast net's got up to 350. Um, but they obviously can charge 150 kilowatts, so that makes a big difference. Hopefully, at some point, the Jaguar will be able to charge a bit, a little bit faster than it currently does, because although I did get 100 kilowatt out of charging at one point today, it doesn't last very long. Um, I think it only lasted about 10% before it started dropping down again. So, yeah, that'd be good to see a bit longer charging at a higher speed because I would cut this journey down a little bit, but it's still, it's not been bad. I mean, most of the times I've been finishing charging before I finish my drinks. Anyway, on with the rest of the journey. Right, after getting through some chaotic roadworks, I'm now at the Van der Valk Hotel. This is an Allego Ultrafast charging station, uh, Mega E. As they call it on this new system, it's an FSX though, so I've had some problems with FSX in the past. Let's see if this one will actually work. I'm going to try the new motion tag on this one, see if that'll work. Okay, that looks good. So, how do we get languages on this? Because I can't work this thing out. Alright, um, yeah, not easy to understand. 
したんです。吉井さん。Yes, no, she says, oh, she no. That's the one we want. Tick. Plug him in. Okay. Let's move that drive plug him in. Let's go, Steph Campbell. Hopefully, that's going to charge. Push him away. I've done that. What's there to do? Let's just keep it and slice it in there. Ah, charging. That looks good. See how many kilowatts we get. Wap ramping up. Looking good to me, that's maintaining 98 for a while there. Let's see how we get on. Well, it kept going at around about 80 kilowatts for a little while, but it's slowing right down now as we're approaching 80%, 80 so I'm going to stop it. Well, after an abortive charge at the last I honestly charge you, that's a very good sound. So, yeah, I've just uh, come from the veteran or veteran. Uh, south to Veteran North chargers and uh, had to cross basically loop round and go back the other way because the ones on the south were not operating at all. The touchscreen wasn't working or anything. Um, I did get one to work but it was on a very, very low charge. Right, this is definitely delivering a bit faster. So, yeah, let's uh, charge here and see how we get on. As you can see and here, I'm back at an IOT charger. This time in good old UK here, here in Maidstone. Yeah, the sun's a bit sunny, a bit bright though, isn't it? It's, uh, it's fine. Yeah, so uh, left the uh, Ionity at Western uh, with 92%, nearly 93%, um, and made it all the way to the Channel Tunnel. Try a loud lorry going past. Um, did stop for a bit of shopping on the route. Um, so yeah, had enough charge to go through the tunnel and come all the way here. Now a couple of things on Western, the, uh, as I said, the Western uh, Sood um, southbound was really bad in that it only had two out of the five chargers actually working. Uh, the touchscreen just weren't responding. Now, I've seen this before and it seems to be related to when it's raining. Um, I don't know if that actually is related to when it's raining, but they'd, it was raining pretty heavily and none of the touchscreens were actually working. So. Uh, yeah, I think those people who are wishing electricity out of motorways and islands Zoom may have to be careful what they're wishing for. But uh, two out of, out of five wasn't brilliant. And the guy on the e golf who was charging the other one seemed to be okay, but he only needed low, low charging speed. Um, I was getting a very low charging speed on that when I first plugged in, um, around 30 kilowatts. So I decided that the better part of Allah was to switch over to the other side of the motorway. Um, there was, the service is going north, um, it just meant doing the loop. I was going to have to do that loop anyway to get back on the road. So yeah, I did that and got charging. But it's certainly something to watch out for. Um, the other thing to watch out for is I set off the theft alert when I went under the, un the, under the uh, channel, uh, in the, the channel tunnel in the tunnel um, it, so they, they've contacted me to say the car's been <laughs> it's been stolen which obviously it hasn't it's just I forgot to set that mode you can set in the app to say you're in transport mode um, I have to remember to do that in future anyway back in the UK very successful trip um, obviously slightly abortive on the trip to Berlin but only ever so slightly um, and that was purely down to the road works nothing to do with the car all the charging has worked out pretty well as I said the ironity in Western was one exception to that but it's been good fun I've really enjoyed it great car to drive really is this is what I call serious icing going on that bus is blocking all the other items on its chargers if I hadn't already got in I wouldn't be able to get in so I hope you enjoyed this uh, trip um, and it also hopefully it's actually allowed you to see where some of these chargers are on the way to Europe if we're going to be traveling through Europe. Europe's really good. I mean the great thing is you've got plenty of multi-point 
100 kilowatt plus chargers. We, and most of the places I stopped had at least two chargers. Most of them had four, um, and most of them were, were high power ones. So yeah, really good. Um, hope to see a lot more of that in the UK. I think we will. And uh, yeah, it's been good fun. So if you enjoyed this, this video, please give it a like, subscribe. It really helps the channel if you do that. Um, helps it to grow, get the more people to see it. Anyway, I know people go on and on about that, so I don't want to bore you with that. But thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.